Welcome to today's class. For today, we'll be discussing on link mechanism. First things first, what is link mechanism by definition? Link mechanism has to do with the assembly of body connected to manage force and movement, that's all. Now, having discussed the definition of link mechanism, um, let's take a typical exercise and serve together on link mechanism. Um, as you can see the figure at the right hand side of the screen and also the question in front of you. The, the question goes this way. Um, the crank OA revolves anti-clockwise about O. Full stop. The end B of the rod AB is constrained to move always along PQ. Plot the locus of R for one revolution of OA. If OA is 30 cm, comma, AB is 105 cm and R A A R I say perhaps AR is 70 cm. Scale one millimeter to uh, one centimeter. When we talk of scale, we are told that we should use scale one millimeter to what the one centimeter. So we know that one millimeter is equal to what the one centimeter. If I ask you, fifty millimeter is equal to what centimeter? Five centimeter. So hundred millimeter is equal to what the ten centimeter. That's how the scale works, right? That it works. All right. How do you solve this problem? What do you? How do you start? How do you solve this? Um, your first start. First things first. Um, I'm going to reproduce out the figure per se, right? At the right hand side of the screen. So how do I reproduce out the figure? Our uh, first start is that I'm going to start with the circle, right? So let's say I have um, I will have to draw. And draw horizontal line at this point, right? Horizontal line, long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one. I have this next up a vertical line upward, right? Long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, long one. So I have this. Now let's see. Next task is that this center here is called center O, as you can see at the right hand side of the screen. I'm given that O A is given to be what there. I'm given O A to be thirty centimeter, right? And I'm given A B to be one o five centimeter which is equivalent to what 10.5 millimeter sorry 105 centimeter all right i'm given ar to be equal to 70 centimeter right so i have this so let's establish this please oa is what 30 so i'll measure 30 with the top of my meter rule right so from here so here is 30, right? As you can see, I will come to this center O and I will draw a circle this way. Right, I have this. Next task is to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. I can do that using my T square. So take it this way. Take it one. Observe. Take it this way. Two. Next up, three. Finally, four. This way. So I have successfully divided that circle into twelve equal parts. That means no stacks. Um, give me this is O. Um, A is for this. This is my A, which is thickening. So I'll take in um, this line AO, 
sticking from the diagram sticking it so that's my line AO is sticking next up uh, if you observe closely the distance of 60 centimeter as you can see my arrow indicating so measure of 60 um, let's say from the center here measure of 60 and just extend the frequency line this way 60 obviously from this point here O which is 0 to this point here is 60 right this is 60 here I will take 60 upward right with um, a center line long one short one long one short one long one short one long one short one this way I have this I'll call this Q and call this here call it um P right per se I'll call it P I'll call this point P Q P Q right P Q we are told that um we are told that we are told that um a B is constrained to move away along what the P Q right so that's like the concept there so we have established, we have established um o a now listen please b is at somewhere here and i'm told that a b yes or b a is what 105 centimeter so i'll measure um 105 centimeter which is 10.5 from here down to this point here is 105 right so i will take my compass at a and cut the arc here where the arc cut here is my b here is that point b we are told to that point b you are seeing the right side of the screen so we are told that it moves what the what the upward and downward right upward and downward so i have this and we are also told that the crank this is what we call crank it's moving what the in what direction in what anti-clockwise direction so i can just use my pencil to indicate the anti-clockwise direction in this manner i have this right the clockwise manner all right no stress um next task is that i need to get r i've gotten my a b right so I will take in A B first before I get my R. Take A and B together this way. I have this thick line. I'm done. So I've gotten A B right as you can see at the right hand side of the screen. Right. So um next task is to get R. R is somewhere here. We are given A R to be 70. So I'll measure 70 from this point. This is my point A, which should be zero now. So somewhere here is 70, right? 70. So we have my point what? Point R. Now listen, we are done reprodu reproducing now the figure. Now what is next? Listen, we are moving at the clockwise, right? So this is A. I'll call here A1. I'll call here A2. A3. A sub 4, A sub 5, A sub 6, A 7, A 8, A 9, A 10, A 11, and finally A 12, or C A, right? Now listen, here's the tax. What I did for A and B and R, I'm going to do it for A 1, A 2, A 3, and the likes. How? Now, what do I mean? Um, listen, please. We said from A to B is what the 105 centimeter. So this don't don't check this. Keep this maintain this. Maintain this um um dimension 105. So come to A1, strike strike an arc on PQ line PQ. So I have this point here. It's this point will be my what? My B1. A1, B1. I need R1 too. So to get my R1, I'll simply connect B1 and A1 together with a faint line and measure out what the 
70 to get my R. So A1 to B1. A1 to B1. Here is 70. So here will be what? R1. I'm done. Next up, um, with that same 105, come to, we're well, done with A1, come to A2 here, strike an arc. Where the arc cut is at this point, right, at this point. So, at this point here, I'll call it B2. So, connect A2, connect A2 and B2 together this way. And measure out 70 to get R2. So from here, from here to this point will be what the my R2. Next up, the same procedure with that same 105 centimeter strike an arc on that same um, PQ. I'll call here um, B3, right? That might be 3. That should be my B3. So B3 to A3. If I connect B3 to A3 and measure out 70 to get R3 simultaneously, uh, 70 here. So here my what the my R3. Next up, A4. With that same 105, come to A4, strike an arc. So the arc cut it cut way. Um, this point here. I'll call this point B4. Join B4 and A4 together in this manner. And measure out 70. This 70. So then what? It will be R4. Right? Next up, let's move to A5. With that same 105. With that same 105, come to A5 and strike an arc. So it cuts here. You have B5. I will join B5 right to A5 in this manner and measure out 70. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 70 is at this point. So it will be R5. Next up, A6 with that same radius. A6, um, A6 at this point, I'll cut here, when it cuts is at this point, I'll call here B6, I'll join B6 and A6 together, B6 and A6 together, right, if I join B6 and um, A6 together, I'll have this. This is 0 to here is 70. So here will be R6. Next up, A7. Come to this point A7 and strike an arc. The arc passes through here. Call it B7. Connect B7 and A7 together and measure out toward the 70. This is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 70 at this point. I'll call it R7. Similarly, move to R8. A, R, A, sorry. A8. I see at this point. Call this B8. I will simply join B8 and A8 together. B8 and A8 together in this manner. B8 and A8 together. So I have this. This 0 to 70 is at this point. I'll call it R8. Next up, R A9. This A9. I have um, B9. Then I need what? R9. This 0. Connect it this way. And measure of 70, which is at this point, 70, R9. Next up, 10 and 11 is left. I move to 10, to this point, 
there will be B10. Join B10. 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 And A10 together. And measure of 70. 70 is at this point. Ten together. Seventy is at this point. Um, what is out of ten at this point? And finally, a eleven from here to here. Yes, um, b eleven. Join b eleven and a eleven together. This way, and draw out what the seventy. Yes, yeah, zero. 70 70 right at this point is 70 and 11 this point so i will join those points together using my french cup right so i will join points together using my french cup right so if i um do that I'll be having something of this nature. I'll start with my French curve. I'm using my French curve to join all this art together. Right, so I'll start with this. At least join maximum three points together. I have this. Next stop, join this point to this together. I have this. Right, so next stop. Join this point here to this uh, together. I have this, and finally, join this to this, All right? And uh, join this to this. I have this. So, this is like the low cost of. of point R we are asked to produce out right so if you found this class helpful do not forget to click on the social button and like thank you welcome to wise link academy